I have some CDs, but mostly my music, they're LPs. I love LPs. LPs are quite extraordinary because you have the 13 by 13 format, and you can get wonderful cover art. Here's this dynamic picture of Jim Kelly in an Asian silk suit in a martial arts pose in this black exploitation movie, Three the Hard Way, which I don't believe has ever been reissued in DVD. And the music's been reissued on LP, high grade LP vinyl, but out of Italy for DJs. Fantastic soundtrack. You know, that was the era of the 70s, black exploitation, yellow exploitation movies, the Asian films from Japan and China that, you know, even though their stories and characters were kind of cardboardy, they had fantastic music. So I collect all this music from the 70s, pop music, soundtrack music. But the LP format allows you to have magnificent cover art, you know, and um, a lot of the LPs, I believe, even though a good number have been converted to CD, the greatest music, which didn't sell much, remain in LP. For example, great pop band from the 70s that I love. This is my favorite record, We Are One by Mandrill. Great funk band, great horns. You know, horns were the muscle of the music. We don't really have horn bands like we used to have in the 70s. You know, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Chicago Transit Authority, Mandrill, uh, Crown Heights Affair, those groups. Look at this beautiful cover art. Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. A 60s, actually made in 1971, I think. An iconic record, you know, celebrating the peace movement, the anti-war, Vietnam War movement, ecology. Again, great music from the 70s. Eddie Palmieri's Unfinished Masterpiece. Perhaps this is in CD, but you see the price. I bought a secondhand and used bookstore for $1.99. $1.99, you can't beat that. Even back then, if I bought this LP in the early 70s, $1.99 is still less than $5 today. Another one of my favorites, The Son of Latin Music, Eddie Palmieri. You know, this was Salsa Caliente, hot stuff. You know, blazing horn sections, phenomenal rhythms. Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring and other works. Here is an example of something that is not reissued. The Pharaohs, a band from Chicago, predecessor to Earth, Wind, and Fire, called Awakening. You know, simple album, self-produced. You know, pretty much two color cover, orange and black on white. Phenomenal music. Massive horn band. Let me see, there were probably, oh, at least eight horns in this group. So, that's the specialness of LPs.